Alrighty, what is going on everybody? So in this video, we're going to be doing how to counter peace control. Now this is pretty much a weird topic because peace control is almost like a play style. It's not really like a, like a move or a technique like the other videos. And it's kind of like, you know, already in the game. So there, while there aren't really clear cut counters and while this counter might not work in every case, there are some easy ones. The first one is just pretty basic just you know defensive peace control or you know just blocking off what you want so if my opponent's in this box and i'm i just go okay i'm just gonna pressure his box like this and try to attack over here you know that's good and everything he could easily get a cone over and then box me and then finish it however he wants to like this so that's why instead of doing something like that you're gonna want to make sure that you have your pieces covered beforehand so if I'm like this, I might have to, I might want this done like this. I might be already be in a full box and have this, you know, partially edited. So, you know, if he does do something, I can run out, I can reset, I can go for an angle myself, you know, whatever I can want to do. And we can right hand peek from any of this. This way, if he does run out here, he does do a psycho edit like this. He has nothing to get. He can't get any of these pieces. I still at least have one more piece in between. And I can use either the stair to right hand peek from or do an edit with the wall, you know, something across like this, something like that to right hand peek him from. The most simple counter to piece control is just making sure before you get into a box that either A, you own all the pieces or B, you're able to react quick enough to a piece that isn't yours. Now the other counter that isn't talked about at much at all is where you don't fall for the piece control trap is what I like to call it. Let's say I'm running up this ramp and my opponent gets the double edit and they get all my side edits. The very worst thing you can do, you see they open up, is that you try to run away like this. You see this in all the clips, everyone's trying to run away from this box and they get pieced up and then by the time they look back, they're dead, basically. The idea is that before that happens, you're gonna want to, before he gets all this walls, as soon as you realize that he owns this double edit, you have to think in your mind, what's coming next? What's next? Well, he's gonna do some type of edit and open up, you know, something like this. And he's going to try to take your back walls. And this is where you, you either take the walls up top. So let's say he's right here. He's on this. You either want to A, take the back, take these front walls. So as soon as you realize this, you take out your walls. And you aim you aim them directly up. So if he opens it, you get those walls. And then you can piece them up and go back on the, on the aggressor. Now let's say he has walls there. So this guy, you know, he's smart. He's doing this from a window. He has walls here. What do you do? Well... You never want to just run away because by the time he does this edit, you're going to be, you know, running into the box like this and you're dead. That's why you're going to want to take the fight to him. So if he opens up like this, hug the front of here, jump up and shoot. And if he resets it, you know, take the wall, do your own piece control and then right hand peek this. Whatever. So the point of this is that if you get pieced up, which it happens, everyone gets pieced up, pros get pieced up, it doesn't matter. Don't run away. Take the fight to them. Be aggressive. Turn around. There's been countless fights in Realistics and Arena and everything I've played where I'm try I'm you know ramping up like this, and the guy gets the cone over top, gets the side walls, and I see him. I'm tracking him. I'm like, okay, what is he going to do? I, let's say I get this floor. I see him tracking him like this, and I can tell that he's going to do something over here. So either A, flip this, go for a phase underneath, like this, or I just let him, and when he edits this, I just get a free shot on him, because my shotgun's already out. I'm waiting for him to do the edit, and then I shoot. So the number one counter, in my opinion, to peace control is just by playing smart. You just wait for them, because a lot of people, their biggest mistake when peace control, so I guess I could honestly make a video about this, is that after they go for the peace control, they just do a stupid edit, like just a wide open edit. They don't end the peace control with a right hand peek. Instead, they, you know... Let's say my opponent is back here in this box. It might go something like, oh, yay, look at me grabbing all these pieces. And then the final edit, they just fly out like this. And if you just stand right here, you can one pump them. You know, again, we can it can be the other way around. They're, they're like, oh, I'm going for the clip here. Look at me. Piecing them up. Oh, he went over here. You know, he's doing all this free building. And if you just stood right here, let him do all that. And when he does this edit, you can just one pump them. Don't be afraid to let yourself get pieced up and basically lose all your pieces 
and just take the shot. But it is risky because, you know, again, if your opponent does all that fancy editing and instead of, you know, finishing the final edit like this, he instead finishes it like this, then you're in trouble. And then you're going to have to do something where, you know, if that happens, he does this, you're going to run up to the peanut butter peak and counter it. Uh, either by taking the wall and doing your own stuff or whatever. So this one's going to be a little bit longer than the last. But this is how to counter peace control. Again, we have defensive peace control, which is, you know, almost stealing the clip. That I talked about a bit in the video that I'll link right now above. And then we have where you let the peace control happen. But you line up your shots with them through the wall. And then when they edit, you shoot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, next video should be... I don't know. I haven't even decided yet. I might do uh, either a stealthy stronghold analysis. Or a believer beach. I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll do the IGL. I don't know. But yeah, cheers.